Happy Tuesday morning to you. This last Sunday was Holy Trinity Sunday, and so our readings kind of revolve around that. But before I go on a little farther, I'd like to thank everyone who sent me well wishes and kind words. Uh, this last Sunday was my 20th anniversary, basically, of being ordained as a pastor. I've served, I've served the Lord's Church for 20 years with great joy in my heart, and it seemed like only yesterday I was being ordained, and now 20 years later we're enjoying a piece of cake and celebrating. So thanks again for everyone for their well wishes. And um, thanks to all the churches who have called me over the years to uh, allow me to be a minister, to worship you, with you, to lead you in worship, and to proclaim Christ to you. Our text for today comes from Proverbs chapter 8, verses 1 and following. Does not wisdom call? Does not understanding raise her voice? On the heights beside the way, on the crossroads, she takes her stands. Beside the gates in front of the towns, at the entrance of the portals, she cries out, To you, O men, I call, and my cry is to the children of men. Um, when we talk about Trinity Sunday, one of the things is, what is the Holy Spirit is the third person in the Trinity, uh, fully God, uh, uniquely a person of God, a person, the third person of the Trinity. Um, there's a lot that can go into that, but one of the things we talk about with the Holy Spirit in particular is we kind of connect wisdom with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's um, work a lot of times is done within uh, wisdom. And wisdom is given to us by the Holy Spirit. And when we call, talk about, we'll call it theological wisdom at least, it comes only through the Holy Spirit. Uh, wisdom teaches lessons that are um, important to our faith walk. I would hope to think that every pastor, every Christian, every person as the years go on, change and grow with wisdom, with experience. I know the Word of God talks in such a way. I thought like a child. I spoke like a child. I'm no longer a child. Um, there was an article written by one of the lead scientists who created and built the Hubble, Tubble, Hubble Telescope. And they said, what was the biggest thing he learned? And he said this, do not name something that rhymes with trouble. Now, I know that seems stupid and ridiculous, but it's interesting that he had learned something as a scientist that actually branding a name matters. And if it starts breaking or does something wrong, um, there's going to be abuse to be had with it. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> then there's also uh, this idea that for Christians, sometimes the biggest lessons we learn are not huge ones, but little ones. Like, oh, a kind word goes a lot, lot farther than I thought it did. And sometimes a person wants a hug even though they're not saying it. Or maybe a person didn't want a hug and I gave it anyways. Uh, wisdom is living our life uh, in Christ. Uh, I saw a cartoon the other day that I thought was very poignant to the uh, world we live in and with wisdom in particular. And there was two lines and there were windows. And above the windows was a sign. And the one window had a, a long line going to it. And the other window had nobody going to it. And the window that had nobody going to it, above it, the sign read, uh, Painful Truth. And the other sign said, uh, Pleasurable Lies. And you could see which one people were going to. You see, wisdom actually wants the painful truth too as well as the loving and grace-filled truth as well. Uh, wisdom is a very difficult thing. Uh, it's not about knowledge. Uh, a seminarian has a ton of knowledge, but very little wisdom. A man who has spent his entire life in the church might have very little knowledge, but might have oodles and pounds and tonnage of wisdom. Uh, wisdom is something that really, if you're really paying attention and working your life to work, to embrace wisdom, when you become an old person with a lot of gray or no hair and a lot of gray, you become more and more aware of it. I'll leave you with this since I started off with 20 years in the ministry. I'm always amazed by the men I meet who have been in for 30, 40, and even 50 years working in the ministry. And though I don't always agree with them, I can assure you that I am very much respectful and honor their wisdom. And when they speak, I really do listen very carefully. They have done this a lot longer than I have and worthy of my listening and their words 
hold much more value than maybe they even realize because of it. Uh, wisdom tells me that if they've done it and I haven't, I should listen. Let us pray. Dear Lord, send your Holy Spirit in our midst to grant us wisdom. Uh, bless this day and keep us safe. In Jesus' name, amen.